Hello, this is Warner from Warner.TV, and today I want to talk about controllers, game console controllers, and how they relate to PC gaming. Um, a lot of times you hear about uh, PC gamers scrutinizing a lot of people for using a controller on their PC when they have a, a, a superior keyboard and mouse uh, control set. A, a lot of us believe that the keyboard and mouse is a superior control set over the controller, uh, but opinions vary because a lot of people including myself, may, may have been brought up with a uh, with a Nintendo controller, NES controller, or a Super NES controller. But over the years, controllers have evolved. I'm, I'm using my um, Switch Pro controller mainly nowadays because I want to get ready for Warframe on the Switch. I also have a PS4 controller here, uh, which used to be one of my favorite controllers um, going back to like the PS1. But over the years, I don't know, man, I'm kind of gravitating away from it. I have an Xbox 360 wired controller for my PC. Um, so those are the three controllers that I have. I used to use this one for almost all of my PC gaming, but now I'm kind of migrating to the Switch controller because uh, the Steam, the newest Steam client supports this and you can customize it in the Steam for your PC gaming needs. So I've been playing uh, like a, like most recently, I've been playing Let It Die. Let It Die on PC, which just came out. Look for the YouTube play, Let's Play. I'll put a link up there. Uh, so you guys can check it out. Um, I've been playing that and I've been using my Switch Pro Controller on purpose because I want to get used to the layout and the buttons because I'm going to be playing a lot of Warframe on the Switch when it comes out and look for content on that when it comes out as well. Um, but it, it has its hangups. Uh, PC gaming, if, you, if you've if you probably been around a while if you know this, but PC gaming tends to get some weird bad ports. Uh, sometimes they don't think about the control scheme that much and... Uh, sometimes you get bad keyboard and mouse controls. Dark Souls, I'm looking at you. Monster Hunter World, looking at you. And now Let It Die is another example of a game that has really poor native PC controls. But if you have a controller, it's actually decent. But I found that this was a unique situation because there were some awkward controls even in Let It Die. Even if you had a controller. Uh, a lot of the PS4 gamers said that the touchpad... Uh, kind of alleviate some of the item management. I think I may have turned it on by accident. It alleviated some of the, the item management stuff. If you can just use the touchpad and swipe left and right and stuff, which is a cool way to use that touchpad because I really haven't used a touchpad that much in my PS4 gaming other than just hit it, just to press it. I haven't really swiped across it or done anything. But then again, I haven't played that much of other PC games. Uh, sizes are a factor as well. Some of these things are kind of big. Some of them kind of small. Some people that I know complain that this is actually too small for their hands. And I know some other people who complain that the Xbox Xbox One and Xbox 360 controllers are actually too big. Okay, And the Steam controller, which I don't have here in front of me because I'm using it as a doorstop. Yeah, my door doesn't swing you know, open as much as it used to. I, I use it as a doorstop. I, I think the Steam controller was a, a, a good keyboard and mouse hybrid experiment but i think it failed and i think they need to iterate on it pretty much so again a lot of people use they use these these keyboard and mice for games such as destiny i think destiny is a good example but they may have played with a, a controller for many many years and they go to the pc and they actually do very well with controller i've seen some people actually do well in pvp people think that if you play with a controller if you play with a controller on PC, you're automatically going to be at a disadvantage. Well, some people are very good with controllers. They can use those analog sticks to aim pretty fast, faster than you can with the mouse. So what do you guys think? How is How do controllers fit for you on PC games? I, it's kind of in a weird spot for me. Some games I have to use a controller. Like I've been I've been playing Monster Hunter World with keyboard and mouse. I've kind of been forcing myself to use keyboard and mouse because I just don't want to use a controller. I don't know why. I think it's a mental block. Uh, the modern controllers are really... Not my cup of tea because when I was coming up, it was all about the NES, which was two buttons and a D-pad. Now we got seven, two analog sticks, three buttons, two hats, and all kinds of stuff. So your hands got to be all crazy. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. What is your comp? What is your uh, your opinion on controllers on PC? This is Wonderful Born TV, and I'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Enjoy those controllers, boy. Bye.